Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Also, want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring in this work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children. That are part of that great multitude that I listen to these videos and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom. I write on the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And I'm coming back with another daily exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And I pray that the elect in the nation of I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. Alright, so I'm gonna start at Baruch chapter three and eight. It reads, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Alright, so March. 17 2021 we're still yet this day in our captivity all right and it says where thou hast scattered us all right you know because the israelites we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth all right you got israelites scattered in in uh, germany you got israelites scattered in italy you got israelites scattered in, in um china you got europe you got israelites scattered in japan all right you got israelites scattered everywhere Okay, and that's one of the curse that the Lord put upon us, all right, that we're going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, all right? And it says, for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments, all right? And we're subject to payments, all right? We're constantly uh, working, all right? Working 40, 50 hours a week, 60 hours a week, you know? And we're subject to payments, you know? We're, we're constantly paying bills, all right? Whether it's... Um, car insurance, whether it's rent, whether it's your uh, car payment, all right, whether it's your cell phone bill, all right, whether it's your light bill, whether it's your your your, your um your water bill, all right, you know, so on and so forth. It says, according to all the iniquities of our father was departed from the Lord our power, all right? So we're suffering from the sins of of, of our forefathers, okay, and we are our for when we are our forefathers coming back in the reincarnation, okay. So it says, according to all the iniquities of our father, was departed from the Lord our power, okay. So we are our forefathers coming back in the reincarnation, all right, and we disobeyed the heavenly Father, all right. You know, we we didn't follow His laws, touch and commandments, okay, and that's why you know we in this uh, state that we in today, all right. It's and is this brute four and one it reads, This is the book of the commandments of the most high and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. You see? So we left the law such a commandments, okay? And the Lord says the law is doing forever. Alright? So March March seventeenth, two thousand uh twenty one. To this day we're still supposed to be keeping the law such of commandments, alright? And uh, let me jump down to verse 6. It reads, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the, but because you moved the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto your enemies. You see? So the Lord, all right, he was pissed off at, at us, okay? Because the law of the commandments has been given to the Israelites, all right? It, it tells you that in Psalms 147 and verse 19, he showed his word unto Jacob, all right? His law of the commandments unto Jacob, okay? And since we disobeyed the Heavenly Father, all right, we, we were sold unto our uh, our enemies, all right, sold unto the the, the so-called white people, all right, sold onto the to the French and the Spaniards, and the um, and the uh, and the British, all right, you know, and we, so and we were sold unto all our um, because all these other nations are our enemies at the end of the day. All right, it says, because he moved the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto your enemies. For you provoked him that made you by sacrifice unto the devils and not to the most high. All right, and we and we chose not to serve you how about Shemel Shai. All right, we sold, we chose to serve other gods. You know, we, we, we um, chose to follow other nations. All right, so the Lord, he put us under the foot of these other nations. All right, and now we're subject to payments. All right. You know, we're, we're uh, going to our enemies for the one of all things. All right. And uh, let me get another precept. It's Isaiah chapter 14 in verse 
and I start at verse one, it reads, For the most for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Alright, so those strangers is talking about the Israelite foreigners, alright, the ones that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Alright. And it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for service and handmaids. You see, so the Lord, he put us under the foot of our uh, of our enemies. All right. But the, the latter end. All right. Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right. He going to have our, our enemies. All right. We're we, we going to be ruling over our enemies. All right. You know, we're going to be ruling over them with a rod of iron. All right. So a hey, payback is coming, okay? And it says, and they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, all right? So we're going to be ruling over these other nations, all right? In uh, verse 3, it says, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, okay? So we're serving our hard bondage, okay? But... We're, we're 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 at the end. All right, we're at the end of 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 our sentence. Okay, and that's why you're seeing more Israelites waking up. All right, you're seeing more prophecies come to pass. All right, you hear about wars and rumors of wars. All right, famines. All right, pestilence. Up wars of the people. All right, earthquakes in diverse places. All right, volcanoes. Okay, uh, you hear about the RFID chip. Okay, you go into these stores, all right, they're, they're no longer accepting cash, all right, and, it, and this is because we're at the end, okay, so this is the time to be rejoicing, okay, and, um, it's a lot here. This second address, chapter six, in verse 9, it actually, we start at verse 7, Second Ezra 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall the when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Asia, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob hand held first the the heel of Esau, okay? And that was symbolic, all right? Because Jacob hand held first the heel of Esau because that's symbolic for Jacob um, pulling Esau out of rulership, okay? And that's what we're witnessing now, all right? We're witnessing the, the downfall of our enemies, okay? He, Esau, you know, he no longer, you know, is, um, is, con is, is control, is, he's no longer you know, um, ruling off of lies, okay? Well, uh, it. But it's verse 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, okay? So Esau is the end of the world, okay? And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, all right? And that's why these devils, you know, they're, they're uh, striking the, the, the striking brothers' pages, you know, um, Shutting down brothers' channels, okay, because they're trying to stop this word from coming out, you know. But it's too late already, you know. Uh, this word is going out throughout the four corners of the earth, okay, and that's how we know that the end has come. All right, and let me get that. All right, it's Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. Okay. So this word is going out throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay. You got Israelite camps, you know, the, throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. You got brothers in Africa teaching. You got brothers in Italy teaching. Okay. You got, um, you got people in the Philippines calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? So, we're, we're at the end, okay? We're at the end of Esau's rulership, 
All right, and let me get another precept. All right, it's Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. Okay. And Lord willing, the Lord keeps the spirit on us. All right. He keep us alive to see the downfall of our enemy. All right. You know, so we're living in, in, in beautiful times. All right. You know. You, we're, 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 we're seeing America um, circling the drain, okay? You're seeing all these store closing, all right? Macy's, uh, uh, a lot of Macy's are going out of business, all right? You know, you, uh, you, you go to these restaurants, you know? A lot of these restaurants are closing, all right? So these are the signs of that times, man, okay? These are the signs uh, of the times, all right? And this is Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 3. It reads, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because there are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the birds, and the daughter of music shall be brought low. All right. So the grinding is ceasing here in America. All right. You know, you're seeing a lot of these stores closing down. All right. You go to your downtown areas. All right. Uh, a lot of businesses are, are, are not open. OK. You're seeing a lot of these stores close. You know, you go to the mall. Uh, a lot of these stores say 50 percent off. Buy one, get one free. 70 percent off. All right. That's because the grinding is ceasing. All right. And you're going to see a lot of more stores start to close. All right. So these are the signs of the times, man. All right. And, and it, I'll read that again. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinder cease because there are few. All right. And what Jake love to say, you know, I'm on my grind, you know, but that grinding is starting to cease. All right. You got unemployment at an all time high. All right. And it says in those that look out of the windows be darkened. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and the daughters of music shall be brought low. All right. And the music, you know, the music shitty. All right. You know, um, you got all these mumble rappers, you know, music is not it doesn't have any content no more. All right. You know, that's because the Lord is is is, is bringing down. The, uh, is bringing down America, all right? He's bringing down the mirth, all right? The mirth is ceasing here in Babylon, all right? You know, Christmas was, 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 was shitty, all right? Thanksgiving was shitty. Your New Year's was shitty, all right? Uh, it says, this Ecclesiastes 7 and 8, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, all right? Because it says better is the end of a thing, all right? Because with Second Ezra, we brought out Second Ezra six, all right? Esau, he's the beginning of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, all right? So better is the end of a thing, all right? You know, because in the beginning, all right, when Esau was ruling, all right, he had the Israelites totally in darkness, all right? You know, he was exalted in the earth, okay? You know, but Esau, his, he's losing his power, all right? You know, and one of his, his main weapons was his tongue, you know? He, he, he was devising mischief, all right? You know, t t telling us that, that, that we black, telling us that we African-American, all right? Telling us that we evolved from, from monkeys, you know? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai, all right? Starting with Apostle Tahar on down. All right, you got the, the true men of the Lord, all right, declaring the truth in the earth. All right. You know, so Esau, he he he's he's not he can't stand on his lies anymore. 
All right. God so loved the world. You know, God loves everybody. You know, just call on the name of Jesus. N n nobody's believing the things that Esau say anymore. All right. That's because the Lord, he's he's um, taking the power out of Esau. All right. You know, and, that, and, and, and the Lord, he's restoring righteousness on the earth. All right. You know, so that was just a short lesson through the spirit. Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, 144,000 men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Al Shai. And also, want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that I listen to these videos and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom and Tawada, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, for putting the spirit on me to make this lesson. Lord willing to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ba. Shalom.